Hello friends, welcome back to learning R programming and visualization of data using ggplot2. Today we will learn how to visualize time series data using ggplot2 and highlight a subset of the data using ggHighlight function of ggHighlight package. We are starting right from the beginning from fetching data off Kaggle to importing it into R. Let's go to Kaggle. I will open my browser and I will search for Kaggle stock data sets. I'll click here and this is the first stock market data sets and nifty 50 uh, stock market data. I will click here and I will click download but it will say that I need to log in to my account. If you don't have your account on Kaggle, you can register and very little data is required for registering your account on Kaggle. I will go for sign in as my uh, registration is complete. I will click on sign in with Google and my Google credentials will be used to sign in into Kaggle. I have got uh, signed in. I will download the data and data download has been is processing that archive one zip is there and that data is there in my download folder. I will go to download, I will get this cut and I will bring that to my R working folder. My R working folder is in uh, drive F R works and here time series plot is there. I will paste it here. I will just extract it, extract here and the data is there. I will copy this path of my working folder. I will copy this. When I select here, the select the path, then I copy it, get it to my R Studio. I will click on new script, R script. I will type set working directory and in inverted quote put that path. I will just change this single slash to double slash so that windows recognize this directory when i run this command the directory will get set and you can see here that this is the directory where my data is there i will use the command list dot files and run that i've got the file list out of these files one file ntpc.csv i will import that df ntpc i will give the name that data frame ntpc read.csv is the function to import csv file i'll just bring in the name of the data file here so that it gets imported and i will run that my data got imported in r now i will look for the data that df ntpc is there i will run you can see that here many variables are there one is date other is symbol then series then previous close is there open is there high low last then close is there we will plot this close and for that we will require package ggplot2 i will call library ggplot2 if you have not installed ggplot2 then you can go to tools and install packages and from install packages type the package name package will team i will run that ggplot i will just call the function ggplot and the ggplot function first argument is data and that data argument is dfntpc I will run this comma AES that is aesthetic mapping and X axis I am going to use is date comma then uh, we want to plot the close on Y axis therefore I will use this close on Y axis then plus geom path will run this you'll see here some error and no plot is here that it is asking us do you need to adjust the group aesthetic. I'll adjust the group aesthetics to group is equal to to this symbol because this NTPC uh, I want to plot. I'll run. Now we have our plot. This plot is called as time series plot. We can adjust size of that. Size is equal to 0 0.1 so that the plot will look like thin line. Size is sizer R. I will remove that R. Spelling mistake was there will run that and we will see the plot is there quite a good looking plot but if you see at the x axis you can see these dates as a solid bar this we don't want we want it to be 
uh, years or months like that structure of this data df ntpc and when we see the structure we can see here that our date column is actually character it shall not be a character because we want to plot a time series and time series uh, is the values associated with their timestamp and that timestamp here in our case is the date we'll convert this to date object using as dot date function i will convert that df underscore ntpc and scalar date i will assign that to as dot date and inside again i will copy this so that my character vector date gets converted to a date vector i will run this now we'll see the structure again to confirm whether my data has got converted to date object or not yes it has got converted to date object now we'll run this ggplot function we'll run that and you'll see what happened with the data we have got the proper x axis here. you can you can adjust uh, these labels also i will uh, this five year gap is there i want to make it two year gap therefore i will put there scale date scale x date and uh, there i will use date labels is equal to date labels is equal to and i will use a <coughs> month and that formatter month dash percent and two digit year number i will use there because our data is 2000 data therefore two digit year numbers are sufficient for that then i want it breaks a uh, date breaks this date breaks and we'll use the date date breaks as two years two spelling shall be correct two years and we'll run that invalid specification okay this space was there i will run that yeah space got removed and here we will see the labels diff as, as a two years break will this month is not looking good we'll remove that month and we'll make this as a four digit year with using that percent capital y and run that if you want to know about this specifier just type this question mark and strp time run that this will fetch you the help and here you'll see the specifications okay all these specifications you can use here to label your x axis now we'll move further will bring another data in picture so that we'll see how to highlight a part of our data set uh, that df ntpc is there we will use another one that is df and we'll see what we can import as our next data series and that is this uh, adani ports asian paint we don't want coal india will use i uh, arbitrarily chosen the coal india that ci and read dot csv inverted quotes coal india coal india will get uh, imported then again i will convert that date to the date function uh, date format i'll copy this again to convert it to date format and we'll run that now my data is ready <coughs> we'll combine these two by using rbind function df both i will give the name and rbind function i will combine the df ntpc with df ci and please uh, remember that if you want to combine your data all the columns of both the data frames shall be exactly same uh i will just add this dfci here and all the rows will get bound together and i will see the df both that we have very large data set it is both data sets got combined together in one data set now we will again go for plotting i will use the same one code just i have to change the data set name both and will run that you see here two lines and we don't know uh, to which uh, company or which corporation these two lines belong to 
for that we will use the color aesthetic color is equal to again we will make that color map that color with the symbol we will run that and now here our legend is also there and these two color lines are also <coughs> a little uh, customize our plot theme black and white this theme black and white is there I want this legend at the bottom plus theme legend dot position is equal to bottom I will run that plus and that symbol I don't want there this name symbol I don't want there therefore laps and that color legend I don't want therefore color is equal to an empty space we'll run that this x axis this date also I don't want because it's obvious that these are dates therefore x also I will remove and this is how my plot is looking now I want to highlight just this uh, coal India data and not the NTPC data and for that purpose I will bring here the GG highlight and for that I will just have to uh, install the GG highlight package for that I will go here tools install packages and type GG highlight there click here and click install package will get installed I want to highlight therefore I am calling the library GG highlight and I will call the library, we will run that and now it is time to highlight a data using GG highlight. <coughs> GG highlight that is then uh, symbol is equal to we want to differentiate based on the symbol is equal to we have to put the condition therefore that symbol shall be uh, coal India. Coal India all caps <coughs> and we will run that and we will see what happens and this is how we have highlighted the coal India and only coal India legend you will see if you have multiple lines there multiple lines in this data then also you can very easily visualize just a subset of that data you can visualize both also together if mul multiple lines are there I will show that in my next video next extension of this video and to keep this video short I will stop here if you have any question about plotting any type of plot you can comment on my YouTube videos which are describing those plot if you have liked this video please share this video with your friends if you are not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel it will motivate me to make more of uh, such demonstrative videos thanks thanks for watching